I'm going to give you a quick overview of a, a good way to resize video. One of the worst things you can do is in a video editing program or compression program, have it resize your 1080 video to you know, 720 by 480. Because those programs just aren't meant for that. You can't get a really good preview of what that's going to look like. So here in After Effects, we have a slightly better way of uh, controlling or kind of formatting our image to fit whatever size we want. So if we look here, I have a quick little timeline. It's about 38 seconds. If we go to our composition settings, you can see this is NTSC DV at 720 by 480. And you can see the pixel aspect ratio, the frame rate, all that good stuff. If I needed this project maybe as a 320 by 240 web video or something, a small video that's going to be on a website or something like that, the easiest way to resize this video and maintain the image that you want so you can actually crop it to the exact thing you want versus having the program in the background kind of choose for you. We can click on project and we'll take our sequence. So I have sequence one here and if I drag that sequence one into another sequence it's going to make a project that's the exact same size as my main sequence and the exact same length but now it's going to all be nested together in one little layer for me. Now we just have to configure what we need this final render to be. So if we go to composition settings, we can choose whatever we want. So if we wanted this to be maybe a uh, web video, we could choose that 320 by 240. Uh, most computer stuff is going to be square pixel. Uh, if you wanted a higher frame rate than that, you could maybe put it at 24. You know, but it doesn't really matter whichever frame rate you'd want to use. And then we'll get hit OK. And you'll see what happens is it's cropped the image. So if I clicked on this layer, kind of zoom out a little bit, you'll see I have a bounding box. And that's kind of how big this video really is. And then my viewer is showing me exactly what um, is going to be kept in the image. So from here, I could go to scale, which keyboard shortcut is S. I could scale this down and kind of choose exactly what I want. Going from video or uh, you know widescreen HD or something to a web video, you're going to see the formats are a little different, so I'm going to have some stuff cropped off. But going this way through it, I could actually move this over to the left or move this over to the right just a little bit if there's a particular point of the image that I wanted to, to uh, keep or preserve, and I can choose which part of the image is the most important in my project. From that point now, when I go to the render queue, so I do composition, make movie, and I click on best settings, you'll see that my size is actually 320 by 240, and if I clicked on lossless as well, I don't have to use this resize or crop or anything at all. My video is already set to the proper aspect ratio and the proper size that I need, so all I need to do is just choose my codec. So if I drop this down and wanted maybe an H.264 video, and wanted audio, I just check those two things, and then I'm all set. I have know exactly what this video is going to be, what it's going to look like, know where the crops are going to be, and if I wanted to, I could even animate the, uh, the way I'm cropping this video. So if I wanted some of the clips to be more left or more right, I could pan and scan the whole project to get exactly what I want to inside my final render.